G'day, I'm Robin from Equip2, and in this video, we're gonna go through the display on a Keystrack K4 and K5. First of all, we have our home page from when we turn the key on. We have a dial here. We press that dial to start. Machine will stop beeping once it's ready to start and you'll see the engine hours there. If we were to start the machine, now is the time you'd start the machine. On the left hand side here, we have MCL, which is our main conveyor. To activate that, we press the side button. We have left side conveyor, right side conveyor, and under screen conveyor. On our right side, we have our SCR, which is our screen box, and our APR, which is our feeder. Bottom right here, we have our hydraulics activating button. In the little display here, we have our fuel level, hydraulic pressure, hydraulic level, and our hydraulic temperature. Bottom of the screen here, we, in the display, we have a little turtle on our tracks to indicate that the tracking mode is in slow. Also a picture here of our machine with the white dots, which indicate when the machine, if the dot is green, it means that operation is running, or red means it's not, or flashing green waiting for a function to start. We can change our speeds on our display by holding down the button, come up with 5%, and using our little dial indicator to turn this dial and it starts increasing or decreasing your speed. We have a warning, engine warning lights that will come up if there is an engine fault. RPM to indicate our screen box RPM and our engine RPM on the bottom. We can turn the little dial by one turn. Now we have our engine vitals, our coolant temperature, engine RPM, oil pressure, fuel liters an hour, voltage from the alternator and batteries, intake temperature, case pressure, hydraulic oil level, hydraulic oil temperature and our engine load. If fitted there's also a button here to activate your fuel transfer. If we go back to the home page and press the arrows pointing inwards we come up to a page and here there's customer, we turn the dial we got dealer and factory. We can only go into the customer, then we select that by pressing the button in. Now we have another button here which is alarms. If we press that, we come up to active alarms. If there is alarm here we can reset it by hitting the reset button. We can also go to alarm history. Pressing the alarm history will show you all the alarm histories. These cannot be reset. To go back out of that page, we push the back button. Takes us all the way back to home page. To get back there again, we need to press buttons going in and enter into customer. That page there. We can turn the dial when we're in this page. This will give us our PVG pressure readout. It will only work once the machine is running and have pressure. We can also go to the page to set the time and date. And then we come back to our first page. If we press the button here again, we can go to our bypasses. These bypasses should only be used in case of emergency or being requested to by a keystrack te technician. To get out of all of this, we just push the back button and takes us all the way back home. So that is how you navigate through a display on a Keystrack K4 and K5.